London's Jewish community is vibrant and constantly developing. Here at the new Jewish Cultural Center, JW3, the Chief Rabbi Lord Sachs joined Dame Vivian Duffield, chairman and founder of the center, to discuss how one's sense of Jewish identity can be developed and strengthened. The new multi-purpose building will reinforce Jewish cultural values, providing a hub for the diverse community. I just thought that there really wasn't, 10 years ago, a place where Jews of all strands could meet and where people who were Jewish but had forgotten they were Jewish or who just wanted to dip in and out of Judaism could come somewhere. During the discussion, Lord Sachs paid tribute to the community and encouraged Jews to contribute further to the development of their own cultural identity. Jews tried in the 19th century and the 20th century to be more English than the English, more French than the French. So they tended to contribute to everyone else's culture, but not their own. There are distinctively Jewish ways of doing things, like music, for example. We have a certain amount of Jewish music, but the great Jewish composers tended to write general music. Now, think of what might have happened if George Gershwin, if Irving Berlin, if Gustav Mahler had written Jewish music? We would have a repertoire unrivaled by any other group. So I think that is the great 20th, 21st century promise of a Jewish culture that is confident and expressive in its Jewishness. It, it started to happen quite a bit, things like the Jewish Film Festival, just, but we have already been you know, underway for some time now. It's through those people that are doing creative things with our Jewish history, our Jewish culture, um, through mediums of film, music, and it's, it's very exciting. Because many of us are so busy in our day-to-day -day lives, the fact now that there's a hub that people can actually come to that isn't necessarily religious and it isn't sort of about sort of on what level you are, but from a social perspective, yeah, it's a really good place to be. Through the work of the growing number of Jewish schools and centres like this, many are confident that the community will continue to develop, giving Jews more opportunities to celebrate their identity from the inside. I'd love to see Jewish filmmakers explore themes in Jewish life. So I, I think there's an almost open-ended possibility that we never really had before because we didn't feel confident enough. Clearly, the present generation of Jews are continuing to make sense of their roots in a way that will enhance the Jewish landscape of the future. The 32,000 square foot cultural center will be open to the public from September, offering all who attend the opportunity to engage in a diverse range of activities. This is Celestina Ololode for JM1 in London.